When I saw it take off, I was inspired by it. This team of Boeing engineers was able to do the impossible and deliver a prototype. In a matter of three months, we took a concept from a piece of paper all the way to a flying vehicle. So this is an octocopter. It's fully electric on some Boeing custom design batteries. The goal is to grow into a large-scale cargo platform. So if you extend the range and you extend the payload a little bit, when you think about delivering 250 to 500 pounds over a 10 or 20 mile radius, you can change the way that the world connects. You can change the way that we deliver goods. You've really got a convergence of technologies right now in terms of hybrid electric propulsion, vertical takeoff and landing, and autonomy that is going to unlock air travel in areas that we haven't seen it before. So it becomes a test bed for future businesses such as maybe a electrically a vertical takeoff cargo. This is my dream job of trying to come up with something new that the industry doesn't have yet. So it's exciting. The company really is trying to change the future of the world. They're, they are driving and on the leading edge and pushing the envelope, but doing it in a smart way. Boeing is at the cutting edge of technology in aerospace. We have a chance here to really change air travel, and we'll look back on this day as a first step in that journey.
The semi-truck. Our modern lives are completely dependent on them. Look around you. Every object you see probably traveled on at least one big rig. Here in America, truckers make up 2% of the workforce, but with multiple game-changing technologies converging simultaneously and the relentlessness of the hyper-competitive global marketplace, the industry will be revolutionized within the next two decades. This is an examination of the future of trucking. Before we get into the technology that will turn it all upside down, we must first understand the way this extremely fragmented industry works now. To the numbers, there are about 3 million drivers for 2.5 million trucks in the US. Those trucks are owned by 532,000 carrier companies, but 90% of these fleets have fewer than 6 trucks, and half of all carriers are single individuals who own and operate their own rig. Then you have the middlemen, the freight brokers. These 13,000 companies play matchmaker between the manufacturers and wholesalers who are trying to get their goods to market, and the retailers who make the final sale to the consumer. Because this industry is so splintered, there aren't universal software systems tying it all together. In fact, 67% of shippers don't use software at all and rely solely on paper records in 2017. This creates tremendous inefficiency. When every piece of information has to be communicated through human interactions, drivers are frequently forced to wait hours to book or pick up a load, and sometimes they just don't. An estimated 20% of trucks on the road are empty. To solve these problems, investors are spending hundreds of millions of dollars on startups competing to develop the Silver Bullet, a software layer that can be used by every segment of the industry. Another area ripe for modernization is how trucks are powered. Today, medium and heavy-duty trucks account for 6% of the greenhouse gas emissions produced in America. To their credit, companies like Walmart are looking to transition to fleets powered by cleaner natural gas, the bridge fuel America has embraced to transition to renewables. And that's where Tesla comes in. Elon Musk, CEO of the electric car manufacturer, plans to unveil an electric-powered semi-truck in the next six months. Battery range will be the biggest obstacle